friends, it's Kate from Venison for Dinner. <laughs> and today we are making an ice cream cake for <coughs> for Marius's birthday. Let me show you how we make ice cream cake for a crowd. This ice cream is gonna be the best. The hardest part of making an ice cream cake is having enough freezer space to put a huge pan in flat. Let's see what we can do. So you can make a single batch of ice cream recipe in a springform pan. There is multiple ice cream recipes on venisonfordinner.com. I'm gonna be using Elaine's raw milk ice cream recipe as well as the coffee ice cream. I'm gonna add egg yolks to both because we got lots of eggs and it makes it delicious. But I don't want just a single batch. I'm making a double batch of ice cream, which is, this is a half sheet pan, but it's like a high sided roasting pan. So this makes, I need two batches of ice cream to do this. And what I like about this, I'll line this with parchment and then it's easy to pull the cake out with the parchment, chop it into squares and serve it to a crowd. I'm saving all my egg whites today. Often I will just feed them to the dogs because we have so many eggs and we happily feed our dogs eggs. But I'm making a gluten-free angel food cake for this party as well. So I better save all those egg whites. My hair is getting longer. But that is that. So the egg yolks, instant coffee, sugar, and vanilla are getting all getting mixed together here. And then I'm doing a tablespoon and a half of gelatin. This is an optional thing with half a cup of milk. I'm gonna let it sit for five minutes and then I will warm it up to dissolve the gelatin and add it into the ice cream. And this creates a more stable ice cream cake, which I go to this effort when I'm serving a crowd. I know how to stir cream in. Yep, yeah, just back off. And yes, I'm gonna stir cream in, then you. You're doing a great job. Is there enough? Might work. You're making big bubbles. Is that enough? And when I say that's enough. No, it's... sir. Am I making bubbles? Am I? So this is my winter two quart ice cream maker. It has its own condenser. So there's no ice, no freezer bowl, and you can also make batch after batch. It's also quieter and honestly, I think it makes it uh, nicer okay. quality ice cream. I had a hand-me-down Cuisinart for years. It started to die. Just Rowan, let me finish talking here. It started to die and then for my birthday, I got this last year. So it is nice too. It has a stainless Wait. steel insert and we're just going to get it going here. Put in here. So the coffee isn't all fully dissolved, but it will dissolve as it mixes. So don't worry about that part. Mom. Oh shoot, I forgot to add in the gelatin. Well, I guess we're doing the gelatin in the next batch. Cause I added too much milk to add the gelatin at this point. Aww. Actually, maybe I could. Hmm. So I warmed the gelatin mix to dissolve it and it's nice and liquid. So I'm just gonna stir it in and because it has a condenser, I can add a warm liquid to it. If you had a freezer bowl, you could not add a warm liquid. Since we already have all the bowls out and dishes dirty, we are just making the mixture for the next round of ice cream now, and then I'll just put it in the fridge. So I've got my cream in, and now I'm separating all my eggs, and it'll go in the fridge when it's done. I think we need to add a bit more milk though. Yeah, we do. And this ice cream is doing its thing. This next step is optional. You don't have to do a crust for your ice cream cake. If you're short on time, skip the crust. Um, but yesterday I had Mac bake me a tray of gluten-free brownies and he dropped them all the chocolate chips. I was like, well, I didn't really need that because they're going um, just an ice cream cake. But he did me a tray of ice cream of gluten-free brownies. I'm only gonna need about half of this. 
Yes, Rowan? Yes, you can have a piece when I cut into them. You also, if you have some cookies in your freezer, you could blitz up in the food processor as your crust. You could do like nuts and butter and a bit of sugar pressed in. You could do a graham cracker bottom. You could do Oreo cookie bottom. bottom. The world is your oyster. Um, a sugar cook, like a shortbread bottom is nice too. So many options. Brownies is our favorite. The way that we think it works out best and the parchment doesn't go all the way up the pan, but that works out fine. As long as it at least covers the bottom half of your ice cream cake. But we crumble up the brownies and then push them in and this makes you the best crust. I should have done this a little sooner and then popped this in the freezer so it was cold, but we'll be fine. So this freezer here I don't think has very much in it. Excellent. So we're just gonna move the brand. It, do we trust it there? I don't know. There we go. That is definitely flat enough. Oh, it's meant to be. Hmm. It's not quite flat. We're gonna move the burgers too. There we go. That's gonna be a big cake. Oh yeah. Ooh, nummy. It's good, it feeds a crowd. And leftovers are never sad. Mm -hmm. Especially ice cream cake. Mm -hmm. Is there room on the deck for chance? I can't, we can't find the room anywhere. No room? No, we don't know where the room is. Yeah, <laughs> one broke, it bent, and then we had another one and nobody can find it. It's not in the basement, Matt couldn't find it down there. It's not uh -uh. If we were eating bowls of this, this would need to keep going, it would not be hard enough. But because it's just spreading on an ice cream cake, this is fine. I have my jar of Dulce de Leche Caramel. The recipe's on venisonfordinner.com if you want it. I've got my jar in the fridge, but if I were to try and spread it on top of the ice cream right now, on top of the cake, it would kind of just make a big mess. So what I'm going to do is before I serve the cake, because the ice cream is really nice and frozen, I'll just spread that caramel sauce all over the top of the cake and it will freeze real fast. It'll kind of be like gooey and amazing, of course. If you have a freezer bowl style ice cream maker and you can only make one batch at a time, okay. and you want to make a big one. Okay, we're gonna walk away from these noisy children right now. Okay, so if I wanted the cake for Saturday night, at minimum I need to make it Friday morning. You do the first layer, put it in the freezer, put your freezer bowl back in the freezer, and then Saturday morning you would do your second round of ice cream, put it on, and then it would freeze all day and be good by dinner time. So you gotta plan ahead a bit more, like with this style, I can make an ice cream cake the day of, the afternoon of, that we plan to make it. I usually make it at least a day in advance because it's just easier to have it done ahead of time. I took it out and I spread the Delta de Leche all over the top, and then I let it sit out on the counter for about 15 minutes because it was rock solid and we were not slicing or eating that anytime soon. You'll have to sing the song. How old are you now? How old are you now? Except for a piece of the whip came off and it looks like mouse poop, so we're gonna check that. Uh huh, so people don't think there's mouth poop. At least you don't melt the bottom of them like I did. And you're Chris. Remember? You want to play this game? Oh, one went out. Yeah. Um, I think there, I saw some there. I saw some there. But I'm not to sing happy birthday, but they'll all come running for cake. What if you pass it with that?
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, they're going to go out. Yep. Yeah. Happy Everybody. Happy Perfect stuff. That's impressive. My family's always like, can we just eat now, please? And I'm like, sorry, actually.